In this video, I'll go over how to sign in to the virtual desktop infrastructure for the University of Washington, as well as setting up GrabCAD to manage your SOLIDWORKS files on it. The first step is open your VMware Horizon client. You can also do this through the HTML access, but I'll use it through the local client today. Double click on Add Server and type vdi.engr.washington.edu. You only have to do this the first time and it'll remember beyond that. Now sign in with your UWNet ID. After you've signed in, you'll get a few options. Depending on what kind of student you are at the UW and what classes you're in, these may vary, but if you do have access to it, select ME-GPU, and if not, then COE-GPU. Double click on it to launch. Once you're in the virtual desktop, open up Chrome or Firefox. Navigate to grabcad.com, and here you'll need to log in, or you can also make an account if you do not have one. I recommend for this account using your UW sign-in, not your UW password, but just your UW email. If this is your first time signing on to GrabCAD, or it also might happen even if it's not your first time, you might land in another place like Community. Don't worry if this happens, all you need to do is hover on the top left a bit, go to Workbench, and click. Now you'll be in the GrabCAD Workbench area. Over on the top right, you can switch between different accounts. So you have one sign into GrabCAD, but you can have multiple Workbench accounts. For example, I have one for my personal stuff, one for UW ROV, Engineers Without Borders, and Husky Robotics. These are not separate sign-ins at all, it's just kind of separate projects and separate groups of people that you work with. Today I'll be using my personal GrabCAD in order to demonstrate how to do all this. If you don't have an account like this, you can press Create New Account and follow the steps there. You'll also want to create a new project. A project is a collection of files and um, people that you're working with on a project. Of course, you can also completely work alone if that's your preference, and you do have to do that for homework assignments. So if you have uh, not created a project yet, do so. But if you do have one, I'll go into what to do next. So what you'll want to do is click Download App, and this will bring you to this page down here. Once the download finishes, go to File Explorer, go to Downloads, expand this PC, and drag the Workbench installer to your U drive. This will prevent you from having to do this whole download process again. So if you click on your U drive to switch to it now, you should have whatever other files you might have on there and this GrabCAD Workbench installer. We can close Chrome now. We're not going to be using it further. Now double click on GrabCAD Workbench installer and press run. Once the installer runs, accept the license terms and conditions and install. Once the installation finishes, click Launch. Now log in with your GrabCAD credentials. Here's an important setup step. Don't select anything on your C drive as the GrabCAD folder location. The C drive gets wiped every time that you log into the virtual machine again, so it's not safe to store projects on there at all. You'll want to select Choose, This PC, the U drive, and select the U drive and press Make New Folder. Call this folder GrabCAD. It's not necessary to call it GrabCAD, but I strongly recommend doing so. Once you have a folder called GrabCAD and you've selected it, press OK, and you should have u colon backslash GrabCAD as the GrabCAD folder location. Now for my default account, I'm going to use my personal account because this is the one that I'm going to be using for ME123, and um, I'm going to li likely be doing my homework here, so that's the one I'll use, and then you click Finish Setup. Now there's a couple of options. These are your projects that you had for your personal account, or whichever account you chose, and you can navigate between them. Over on the right side, you can click here to prepare the download and actually start the download. You can also do that for any other projects you have on your account. Download selected like that, and now all these files will be locally in your file explorer. So if we go back to file explorer and then to GrabCAD, there's a separate folder for each project. So now, what happens if you want to add another project from another account? The way you do that is you go to Settings, Manually Connect Project, select whichever project you want. I'm going to be selecting UW ROV since that's the smallest other project I have, and you press Link to Folder. Here you're going to go back to the U drive, open GrabCAD, click on GrabCAD, press Make New Folder, and type in the name of the project. So I'm going to type UW ROV 2020 to 2021 and then OK. Fortunately, you only really need to do this long setup process the first time that you set up GrabCAD on the virtual desktop infrastructure. 
We will have to install it the next time that we want to use it, but it will remember all of your projects and you will not have to do this download the next time. Alright, so once the download finishes, feel free to close GrabCAD and get to work on SolidWorks, but now I'm going to go into how to set it up the second time, third time, and onwards um, on the virtual desktop infrastructure. So I'm going to close this down, press power, shut down, shut down. Alright, so close out of the VMware Horizon client to show you what it looks like the first time that you run it again. So open VMware Horizon client, double click on vdi.engr.washington.edu. You may have to re-add this, but it does remember most of the time. Sign in with your UDIMNET ID and password, and select me-gpu. So once you're in the desktop, open the file explorer, navigate to this PC and the U drive, and now we're going to run the installer again. Fortunately, this will be a lot faster than the last time. Select Run, accept the terms and conditions, and install. Press Launch, and now sign in. Now, make sure that your folder location is set to this PC, U Drive, and GrabCAD. For the default account, it doesn't matter because we already downloaded our projects, and now we can press Finish Setup. Now it's going to go through all of the files that are over on here, if we go into the GrabCAD folder, and since we downloaded them earlier, it doesn't have to download anything. It shows up to date, up to date, and everything's set to go. The process for adding another account is the same as earlier, settings, manually connect project, etc. So now I'll show you how to actually use GrabCAD. I'm going to go ahead and launch SolidWorks 2020. Accept the terms and conditions for SolidWorks. Alright, so now that we're in SOLIDWORKS, let's put SOLIDWORKS into full screen. Alright, so now that we're in SOLIDWORKS, let's make a new part file. I'm going to use the defaults, whatever you decide to do is fine. Let's start by making a very simple extruded feature. So we're going to do it from the top plane, and then let's say we have a circle with a rectangular cutout. And I'm not going to constrain any of this, just to make things go faster. And we can accept the default thickness. Alright, so now let's save the part with Control s Go to this PC, U drive, GrabCAD, and then choose whichever project is most appropriate. I'm going to put it into Homework Miscellaneous. Now, when, when you save your part, if you go back to GrabCAD Workbench, it'll say that you have a file that's ready to upload. We can press View Details and Upload Files, and this will show us all of the files that have changed. You can safely ignore this zero byte size. GrabCAD does not correctly report sizes sometimes. You can also add a comment, such as Demo for Tutorial Video, and then this will show up in the GrabCAD history online. We can press Upload Selected, and this will get uploaded. Now, say we wanted to add some more changes to this. I'm going to select the top face, select New Sketch, and I'm going to add a slot on top. Again, I'm not going to fully constrain it because I'm using all of the poor practices and just trying to make things go as quick as possible. Now I'll use Extruded Cut, and I'll select the sketch as our profile. Accept the extrude, and now we're ready. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save, and if we go back to GrabCAD Workbench, it'll say that we have files that are ready to upload. You can click here again, and Upload Selected, and this will update your file to be on the cloud. Now, if you were to sign in to GrabCAD on your personal computer with SolidWorks, then you could also synchronize those files back. In that case, you will have changes that appear here. In fact, I can demonstrate that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this part file in SolidWorks to prevent any issues when we're downloading the new copy, and I'm going to open Chrome again. Now go to grabcad.com again, log in, now you don't need to save the password and I'll put it into full screen so that's easier to see. So if you go over to the ME123 homework project, which was where I was working, we can see these new updates here. So say the state has some sort of problem, either a file got corrupted and I pushed up a corrupted file, or it's a change that I didn't want made, I can always restore to a previous state. So the way I'll do that is I'll scroll down, and these comments can help with finding which version you want to restore, and for the version you want to have again, you click Restore Project State and then confirm, and then it'll restore the project state. So of course, if you did that restore and you realized you didn't want to restore it, you can just restore back to another version. You can restore as much as you want all the time. Now if we go back to GrabCAD Workbench, we'll see we have a file that's ready to download. 
you can press view details and download files, download selected, and the file will download an update. So if we go back to SolidWorks, press R for recent documents and we open demo part, we'll see that the file no longer has the slot. So this works great with huge assemblies, with lots of part files, with anything you want really, and it helps a lot to keep your work organized and also make sure that if SolidWorks does end up corrupting your project the night before it's due, you don't have to start all over from scratch again and you can just download it from Workbench again. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, please do let me know. And if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see in future videos, also please suggest those. Thank you.